This is about four year old girl having painless swelling of part of the foot since birth. You can see three images and give the diagnosis. The first image is X-ray right foot in AP and oblique views. The second image is multiplanar reconstruction of both the feet. The third image is 3D reconstruction of both the feet. Remember that it is painless and that is progressive from infancy. Now think what is the diagnosis. The findings are there is focal enlargement of the soft tissues and the bones at the second and third toes of right foot with mild hypertrophy of the second metatarsal bone and the adjacent soft tissues near the metatarsophalangeal joint. There is mild bulkiness of the soft tissues in big toe. Most of the soft tissue enlargement has fatty components with no calcification or any elliptic or destructive lesions in the affected bones. Soft tissue fusion is apparent between the second and third toes with separate bony phalanges. There is upward angulation of the fused second and third toes. The differential diagnosis is many. The first one is macrodystrophy or lipomatosa. After that, you can have you can have macrodactyly, macromelia, neurofibromatosis, angiomatous malformation, and some syndromes like Proteus syndrome, Klippel Trinani Weber syndrome, Beckwith Wedemann syndrome, and Maffucci syndrome, and some hypertrophy from tumors like Wim's tumor adrenal tumor and hepatoblastoma might be thought of and you might have that in some endocrinopathies. The final diagnosis is macrodystrophia lipomatosa. In discussion, macrodystrophia lipomatosa is a rare congenital non-hereditary form of localized gigantism of second and third digits. Usually the foot is more commonly affected than the hands. With progressive overgrowth of the affected bones and soft tissues from birth to puberty. The overgrowth of the affected areas usually ceases after puberty. It is usually unilateral with local fusion of the soft tissues or bones which is called as syndactyly or you might have altered curvature which is called as clinodactyly or they may have increased incidence of polydactyly. Local gigantism of the bones or soft tissues or both can also be seen in some phacomatosis or hematomas or in angiomatous malformations and in some syndromes which are all listed in the differential diagnosis. The problems in children with this Macrodystrophy lipomatosa are many. Common one is painless focal gigantism till infancy. That may give troubles to the parents. Second one is cosmetic or mechanical problems or difficulties might occur at early childhood and they might have degenerative changes at the affected joints or some neuropathy. For example, plantar neuropathy might occur in foot and median neuropathy might, might occur in hands. This happens in the later childhood. That's the end of the session. Please give your comments, share with your colleagues. Thank you very much. Take care.